Yeah, Kevin, here we go again. I mean, I spoke to you on the halftime, and yeah. you were impressed about the way Arsenal approached the game and how they started the game and stuff like that. Let me ask you again, are you... I know you would have loved to win, but are you impressed by the outcome the performance-wise and result-wise? I'm happy with the result. I'm happy with the performance. Um, I don't know if City has looked quite this toothless in a game in a while. Like, they had a lot of possession, but they had one shot on target. So we kept them at bay. Like, Holland had no shots on target. They, they had a few shots, but they were barely in our, our area. We did a good job of keeping them at arm's length. And we have not let City score a goal on us this season. So that's something important to remember. At our house and theirs, they have not scored on us this year. I, I, it's good you mentioned that. I was, I talked to the other guys, I was asking them, Haaland came into England last season, destroyed, been destroying everything, mm -hmm. scoring goals. I mean, 56 goals last season. Mm -hmm. This is, he already has about 30 goals already yeah. this season. And Arsenal, three times now, you said two, but I said three. Mm -hmm. Because the, the charity shoot yeah. he was locked out. The first game of the season, the EPL, yeah. same. This, this game again today. Mm -hmm. Talk to me about, uh, is it more about Saliba and Gabriel or just the team? I think it's a combination, but honestly, keeping Holland under control, that's largely Gabriel and Saliba. He can't bully them. Like, the center backs are, are big and slow or small and fast. Ours are big and fast. And he can't out-muscle them. He can't outrun them. He can't win a physical battle against them. And I think he's kind of running out of ideas as to how to get <laughs> get by these guys and I get it they're hard to get by they're real tough yeah, exactly. it's good you mentioned that I mean the, the, the numbers show it Arsenal has the best defense in the league yes. and we're scoring the most, most goals and I know coming to this game City need to work extra hard to get three points out of this game and that's the way you found out you know and so for me who impressed you most in the Arsenal lineup today I mean there were a lot of impressive performances um, Gabriel obviously keeping uh, Holland at bay uh, Declan Rice running the midfield like he normally does. Him and Jorginho had a great game. Um, we had some good performance out of Havertz, you know, kept their back line busy. Everybody really put in good shifts today. Tommy Asu, when he came on, did a great job out on the wing. I'm glad to see him back fully firing. So I'm feeling good about the, the run in. I'm, I'm ha so happy that we're getting healthy. Yeah, you mentioned Havertz there. I know when he came into Arsenal, there were a lot of questions. Was he coming to Arsenal? Was he going to study in this team? And for you, the noise about Harvard, is it done? I don't know. I'm, I'm going to say because I started the season as a Harvard skeptic. And he's won me over for the most part. He scores goals. He's, he's been a good false nine. It's not why we bought him, but he's been a good false nine. So as long as he keeps performing the way he's performing... Yeah, I think I think Havers may have quieted the skeptics. So, so was was it a bad game for Saka or just the way the game panned out? I think it was just the way the game panned out. You know, Saka wasn't at 100%, and I think it just wasn't his day-to-day. -day. But he still put in a great shift. He put in 77 minutes, solid. So I can't fault Saka for not getting us over the hump today. Yeah, we've we'll seen City... And Pep, most of the time, between Pep and KDB, deploy KDB in those little pockets behind the midfield of their opponent, opponents, find pockets, link up with ha Harvard, or sometimes get the goal by himself. Mm -hmm. Today, he did the same thing on the right side, uh, KDB on the left side, folding. Mm -hmm. But I thought that did reverse the, 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 the tactic by deploying the, the clan rights on KDB mm -hmm. and Dojiro on folding, mm -hmm. utilizing these two guys. But what this meant was Arsenal going forward, couldn't really give much. Yeah. So for you, do you prefer what Arteta did, or should he have just gone for it? I think what Arteta did was the right move. I think going for it at the Etihad is uh, real difficult. They don't really lose games at the Etihad. If you look at their record, they're now 39, where well, they've won 33, drawn six in their last 39 games. They haven't lost a game at the Etihad in, in all competitions in two or three years. So, yeah, you can't just go in there full bore and hope that it all is going to work out. They're very hard to beat at home. So you have to keep it tight. Yeah, I get you there. So let me put you on the spot. Liverpool 67 points. Arsenal yeah. 65 points. Yes. City 64 points. Yes. Nine games to go. Yes. Who wins the league? Listen, I'm an Arsenal man. I'm going to say Arsenal. I don't know if we're going to pull it off, but I'm still rooting for us. I think we can do it. Okay, man. Thank you, Kevin, one more time to see you on the channel. Right, Thank you for coming up. I and good to see you. I'll see you again next weekend. Absolutely.